guys, it's Neon, welcome back. Well, it, it looks like somebody's venture capital is running out. Uh, Patreon has just announced that they're going to jack their fees up today, uh, but they are going to grandfather in older creators, um, but their new pricing structure is something else, that's for sure. It's very convoluted. Um, we're gonna take a look at it here. I did get an email from Patreon earlier today about the change, and uh, we had numerous people on Twitter reaching out to us, asking us if we'd heard about it. Uh, the reason being, we've been very critical of Patreon. A few months ago, Patreon, uh, you know, had a, a huge uh, PR black eye with uh, Sargon of Akkad, a YouTuber who they, they banned from their platform uh, because they didn't like some things that he said on another platform, on somebody else's platform on YouTube. It wasn't even on his channel. Um, and uh, they had this really, really dodgy explanation as to how they decide who is allowed to remain on Patreon and who is not allowed to remain on Patreon. That coupled with the fact that, uh, you know, Patreon really doesn't do anything that you can't do for it yourself um, through your own website or through other means, you know, led us to uh, pull the plug on Patreon. And many, many uh, creators pulled the plug on Patreon a month or two ago. Um, you know, so it's just, it's, it's sort of become a domino effect, I think, where smaller accounts are going to sort of pay the price for all the drama going on with, with some of the bigger accounts on Patreon. Uh, we just didn't feel like it was a good place to be anymore. And now this happens. So this version of the story coming from TechCrunch, and then I'll take you out to Patreon's uh, very kind of convoluted uh, blog article uh, trying to explain these new fees. So Patreon ups its revenue cut, but grandfathers in old creators. Patreon couldn't survive charging all creators just a 5% rake on the monthly subscriptions they earn from fans while building commerce tools like CRMs and merchandise to try to stay ahead of Twitch, YouTube, and Google. This is very important. Uh, Patreon is completely unnecessary at this point. When Patreon started, it was trying to centralize all the uh, the donations from different platforms, but now most of these platforms, uh, YouTube, uh, Twitch, um, even webcomics creators using PayPal or whatever, you know, there really is no, there's no value add to Patreon. They try to centralize everything, but really you're bringing your existing audience to Patreon. Uh, you're giving Patreon your customers and you're giving them a cut too. It's just, it's not a very good deal in my personal opinion. Um, but also didn't want to screw over its loyal early creators. We've actually been with Patreon, uh, God, since pretty much the beginning. So today Patreon is overhauling its pricing and you create... Any creator can still get a 5% rate, but just for a light version without the bonus tools or different fan tiers, all Patreon's extra features will now be on the pro plan with an 8% rate, but with existing creators grandfathered in at 5% in the new premium enterprise plan for 12%, 12%, 9% for existing creators will offer full service merchandise sales, multi-user team accounts, and dedicated customer support. Oh my God. Uh, if you want to get the lower grandfathered rates, you'll need to join Patreon in the next few weeks before the new rates go into effect in early May. If, if you want to join Patreon now, do it now. This is like, you got to join Patreon now because we're hemorrhaging users. That's exactly what they're doing. I, I think they're hemorrhaging users. A lot of people, a lot of people are leaving Patreon. Um, and again, it doesn't even really come down to politics. Uh, some people that are leaving Patreon are like, well, that's because a lot of uh, conservative bloggers and podcasters are leaving. No, there are people all over the place because what happens is when Patreon's um, uh, trust is is undermined, you know, and they've got this uh, trust and safety team or whatever the hell they call them, the uh, Spanish Inquisition, that go around the internet and decide whether or not you're guilty of wrong think or wrong speech, it undermines the viability of the entire platform. People are leaving, uh, you know, they're leaving because it's creepy. What Patreon did to Sargon of Akkad was creepy. And a lot of people who maybe didn't even agree with, with Sargon left the platform. A lot of users left the platform and the word of mouth has been atrocious. And now, now they're going to jack up, they're going to jack up the rates. This is, they're trying to get more blood out of the same rocks. This is, not going to work. <laughs> this is not going to work because nobody needs Patreon. With this change, Patreon is a long-term independent company that doesn't need anyone else. We don't need, we don't need no customers. We don't need no creators. That's the move we're making here, says Patreon's SVP of product, Wyatt Jenkins. More sustainable pricing means creators won't have to fear Patreon selling out in desperation. Oh my God. Patreon selling out in desperation to someone like Facebook. 
that might neglect or exploit them. Yeah, because Patreon's doing a, a damn good job on their own. Uh, Patreon CEO Jack Conti tells me he wants to balance powerful features with right size pricing for different creator types to become the platform agnostic home for subscription patronage when tech giants are each trying to build their own. Uh, you have completely undermined users' trust in your platform, Jack, so good luck with that. To have a different membership for each distribution platform, that's not going to work. You need a single place for the bottom of your distribution funnel, Conte explains. Yeah, uh, pretty much PayPal. Uh, most of these places dump money into PayPal. So I think as long as you're cool with PayPal, uh, it's all cool. Some people aren't cool with PayPal. They find another way. You know, they find another way. Uh, balancing rates and resources. Patreon now has 300 fans paying 100,000 creators more than half a billion dollars per year. It will cross a billion in payouts in 2019 after six years in business. Uh, six years. So they've run out of venture capital at this point, I think, is what's going on. And now is not the time to piss off the rest of your user base. But Patreon was starving on its 5% rate, which some venture capitalists tell me is why they passed on funding rounds totaling $105 million. This is it right here. This is everything I said. I just happened to see this. Venture capitalists passed on Patreon because they don't see the freaking point and they don't understand how grifting 5% off of creators is a long-term sustainable business model. And I agree completely. They're not necessary. Now it might make, it, make enough to keep the lights on, retain ownership, and maybe even earn a profit one day. Someday, someday Patreon will earn a profit. Oh my God, so the company is not even profitable. Uh, Jenkins tells me Patreon spent a year talking to more than a thousand creators to figure out how to reprice its offering. People don't like change, but I think in terms of change, we're going to be able to invest in the different products in different ways. We can put a lot of horsepower into membership, he explains. The company didn't want to screw up like when it changed its payment processing rates a year ago. Yeah, they made a huge mistake. A huge mistake a year ago. They made a huge mistake in, uh, what was it, December with uh, Sargon of Akkad. And again, that might even come down to trying to appease venture capitalists Yo, no, no, we don't have we don't have alt right Nazis on our platform, no, sir. Um, you know, it's it's just, this company is not viable. This is not because they're not necessary. Everything that Patreon offers, you can do it yourself. You can do it through another platform. You do not need Patreon. And uh, keep your money. Keep your money. Uh, leads to led to creator backlash and some exodus. Yeah, they're, are they going to mention? Are they going to mention? Um, what happened in December. I don't think they are. They're going to mention the uh, utterly stupid processing rate hike from 2017. Uh, we unilaterally did something that impacted creators, patrons. That was the real landmine we stepped on. Yes, and in December, uh, you fucked up again, Jack. You fucked up big time and you won't own up to it. What Patreon discovered was some creators, especially individuals and hobbyists, didn't care for bells and whistles. They want cheap and easy recurring payments so they can focus on their art. So Patreon made the 5% light plan that strips out the extra features but keeps the old rate. So basically, you're going to pay PayPal and you're going to pay Patreon. Why? Then why not just cut... If, if Patreon Lite doesn't do anything of use, then why not just just go directly to PayPal? <laughs> you know, it doesn't make sense as a creator. This doesn't make sense. More serious videographers, illustrators, comedians, and pundits wanted to offer different price tiers for different levels of exclusive content. They need analytics, special offers, integrations with other productivity and commerce apps, and priority customer support when things break. That's what creators will get for 8%, unless they're grandfathered at 5 But Patreon also found there's a whole media, there were whole media organizations with 50 employees build atop its patronage platform. Well, that's true. Some podcasts, uh, some websites do have um, you know people that use Patreon uh, extensively. They need to be able to share accounts and get immediate support when necessary. Meanwhile, tons of creators see merchandise as a powerful way to learn fans who want signed photos, stickers, and other swag. 85% of our creators tell us we need merchandise. We spend our days in the post office looking stamps. You can get great negotiation leverage since you have scale. Why aren't you helping us with this? We can't build that on 5%. So you'll pay 12% if you want to be able to sell merchandise. So Patreon is also changing its payment processing fees to make sure it doesn't overpenalize smaller contributions like creators popular $1 per month tier. Now all transactions over $3 incur a 2.9% plus 30 cent fee similar to Stripe's industry standard while microtransactions under $3 cost 5% plus 10%. Existing creators get the old rate and people paying via PayPal outside the US get hit with an extra 1% fee. 
the battle for fan subscriptions. Surprisingly, one of Patreon's most popular creators told me they actually felt bad about being grandfathered in at a lower price because why should they get special treatment compared to other artists who just might not be as tech savvy? Why would why would anybody feel bad? Why would anybody feel bad? Like, golly, I'm just not giving Patreon enough of my money. Conte says, I found creators are really humble and selfless, always thinking about other people. I can't. I take advantage of them. I can imagine them saying, what about these people? Why am I paying less than them? Why? <laughs> oh my God, such bullshit. This is such bullshit. This is such bullshit. If Patreon could power through the rate change without breaking momentum, it could have a bright future. It started the Patreon, the patronage trend. Actually, Patreon stole the whole concept uh, from individual artists and creators who are using PayPal and other payment processors, uh, you know, to to have clubs and memberships and that sort of thing. People have been doing this for like 15, 20 years. Um, this is nothing new. Pa Patreon just stole the idea, right? They stole the idea. Um, so Facebook plans to charge creators up to 30% like YouTube already does and Twitch charges an astronomical 50%. Uh, but with far more restrictions on content and far more distrust accrued after years of forsaking creators and tense negotiations, Patreon's neutral platform... Oh my God, this is such a puff piece. Patreon's neutral platform with the cheapest rate could remain the fan subscription leader at a time when ad revenue shares are proving inadequate to support turning one's passion into their profession. Patreon is not neutral. This is the problem. They're not addressing the problem. They're talking about how last year... Uh, or to almost two years ago, they pulled a fast one with creators. They're not addressing the real issue. The real issue that Patreon is is desperate, desperate at this point for venture capital and to keep its uh, users and to bring in the revenue is because uh, they freaking pissed off a huge, huge portion of their users. Um, and we're never going back to Patreon. Sorry, we're sorry. So. Looking forward, Kanye says the toughest challenge for Patreon will be building three different products for three distinct types of creators without the infinite wallets of its rivals, uh, without money. We want to do this. We want you We want you to feel bad, creators, and give us your money. In fact, we want you to give us more of your money to help other creators. Yes, that's why we're doing this. And then we'll just help ourselves to some of that venture capital um, and then we'll, we'll unload the company at a later date. Trust me, if, if venture capitalists are getting involved, if venture capitalists are getting involved in Patreon, the end goal is to sell Patreon. Patreon will get sold at some point. They're like, we want to keep Patreon out of the hands of the, the bad guys. We want to keep them away from Facebook and YouTube and all those other bad guys. They're going to sell Patreon at some point. They're just going to fatten it up a little bit and they're going to sell it. That's why the venture capitalists come in because they know they're going to get a return on their investment. Right now, Patreon serves no purpose. Serves no purpose. Um, so... Anyway, here, if you want to go out to uh, Patreon, I will put this in the description. Here's their new creator plans. Of course, they try to try to make it sound all positive. Uh, try to make it sound all positive. I don't think it's a positive. I think it's, it's uh, you know, this is sort of the alarm is, uh, is, is going off at uh, Patreon. They're running out of money. The investors want to see how they're going to make money. So they're going to start jacking, jacking rates. And uh, a lot of their, you know, bigger accounts are leaving. People are leaving Patreon. There's no... There's no real reason. I mean, you look at you know some of the huge uh, Twitch gamers. They're they're doing their payments through uh, Amazon. You're looking at you know YouTube. We get super chats directly through YouTube. Yes, they take a big cut, and it sucks. But it's it's easier for our viewers to just you know give us a super chat than it is to divert them someplace else and tell them to give money there. Um, I don't know. I just don't see it. I don't see this working. I think Patreon. I give them less than five years. <laughs> I give them two to five years. I don't know, unless there's something major, some major breakthrough. But, uh, you know, we are done with Patreon. I know a lot of people who are done with Patreon. And, um, you know, good luck with that. So please subscribe to Clownfish TV for more pop culture news, views, rants, gaming videos, art videos, and more. If you'd like to support us, go to clownfishsupport.com and you can support us directly without uh, giving to Patreon. It all goes uh, to us. So we do appreciate the support. Uh, please subscribe. And we'll talk to you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.